All right, y'all. Happy Sunday, guys. As you can see, we start Christmas pretty early around here, but I want to show you guys three spreads I took last week using my SPX strategy for $1,600 of income. So if you're not familiar with option selling or credit spreads, what I talk about quickly in the video might not make all that much sense. So with that being said, if you are new to spreads, you can look in the description of this video and I'll put the link to two of my videos that will give you a good primer on selling options. If you do understand it, let's talk about these three trades, the strategy itself. And all I'm trying to show you guys here is that there's a simpler way to go about your options trading if you're looking to make a living from the market. So as far as this option selling strategy goes, you know, I'm not going to do a deep dive on it here. I'll give you guys the basics, right? As long as the SPX or the S&P 500 is above the 15 moving average, which is that green bad boy, and above the 50 MA, which is the yellow one, as long as we're above those levels, and then here's the most important piece of this, guys, and again, just giving you the basics here, as long as the market is trading above those two moving averages, and as long as the volatility index is way down here below that 16 15 14 dollar level, what I'm looking to do every time the market dips you know really to any extent and when it comes to selling puts the bigger the dip you know the better but as long as we're trading above those few moving averages and as long as the volatility index is way down there in that safe zone what i'm looking to do here guys is sell put spreads so every time the market drops what i'm looking to do is go way out the money my preference is to go as far below those moving averages as i can and sell puts now Again, you can watch the videos in the description of this video if you're not familiar with put spreads or selling options. But the whole, you know, thought process here, guys, is to, you know, create consistent income, pull consistent steady profits out of the market. Just really taking a bigger picture look at the market and taking advantage of the current trend. You know, clearly we are in a very strong trend at the moment. This could change any day now. But the way that I view the market is when we're in a good uptrend, you know, these pullbacks, these little dips, for me as an option seller, they're a great time to come in here and sell puts. And the reason being is that you want to ideally be looking to sell puts or sell a put spread when the market has made some kind of decline, whether it's a little pullback, whether it's a multi-day drop. And the, you know, the reason behind that is that when the market drops, the put premiums begin to spike. And if you understand selling options, then you understand why selling puts when the premiums at its highest is to your benefit so when I can sit back with patience right and again it's all about that bigger picture but when I can be patient enough to wait for those dips guys that's when those crazy lotto puts way out the money are gaining value so that opens up a short window of opportunity for me to come in and just sell those puts right if somebody wants to buy puts you know a good 30 40 points below the current price of the market then I've got no problem being the person to sell them those puts so if we take a look at the two charts, right, we've got SPX here, and then we got the VIX. That's all I'm looking to do. So to walk you guys through a few of my trades here, um, you know, these three recent spreads. So here on the 23rd, as you can see, the market dipped a little bit. I came in and sold the put spread all the way down here at 2945. So essentially, I shorted the 2945 puts. Now let me get this spreadsheet up right here and you can walk through the PL of these trades so on the 23rd on this dip right here I'm taking advantage of that little drop in the market and I'm selling out the money puts so I'm selling puts down here at 29.45 and then you can see guys a few days later the market moves to the upside obviously the puts that I shorted got crushed and if you take a look at that spread right here I'm selling those 29.45s at 9.50 and I'm buying them back at 78 cents so on that given put spread nine hundred and ten dollars of profit right and then we look again here to the 29th and the market dropped a little bit into the open right i'll be the first one to admit not really a good drop there but nonetheless the market did drop just a little bit and i came in guys and i sold 290 uh what is it? i sold 29.85 puts way down here below the 15 of may so i'm selling those 29.85 puts at 298 so not much premium there but nonetheless I'm taking that trade off there the following day which we can see right here right I'm taking that trade off the following day for a small hundred and seventy five dollar profit so let me walk you through the process or the thought process rather guys of that trade right I'm selling puts here on the 29th down here at 29.85 now if you look a few days later 
you'll actually notice that the market did begin to roll over. So what I wanted to do, instead of holding on, because I think the max profit on that trade was about five, six hundred. Instead of holding on for a few extra hundred dollars, like I said, when the market is pulling back, it's the perfect time to be selling puts. So what I did, I took that entry on the 29th, and you can see here on the 31st, I actually sold those puts, right? I sold that put spread rather at the open for a small $175 loss, a $175 profit. What I did immediately after that, guys, because the market was dropping towards the tail end of the day, I took the capital that I just freed up and I put on another put spread. So you can see here the market makes that nice drop there on the 31st. I'm taking small profits from the pre previous put spread and I'm getting myself a new one. So on that drop there, I'm getting a better spread with a little bit more time selling puts down there at 29.80. I took that spread off the very next day for about 50% of max profit and that one was about 525 bucks and that's how I came to on the week guys closing $1600 of profit with these put spreads. Now at the end of this video I'll give you a quick glimpse of you know all the orders so if you need to verify this you can verify it and one thing I do want to mention is that on these given trades guys I'm risking anywhere from five to six thousand dollars max loss so these positions where I'm making you know a thousand bucks five hundred bucks break even a little hundred and seventy five bucks they're requiring about five to six thousand dollars of capital now if you're new to options trading typically the path we go down as newer options traders is we try to make a lot of money with very small accounts and it can work sometimes but what I want you guys to focus on, especially you know, if you aspire to trade full time, is really just creating consistent high probability gains. Now, five to six thousand dollars may seem like a lot to a newer trader, but put it in this perspective, guys. You see the few trades I took uh, took here this most recent week. Again, all costing me about five to six thousand dollars. Only have one open at a time, so you know, not having fifteen thousand of exposure, five to six thousand dollars. And, you know, I didn't really come anywhere near the max profit on any of these spreads. If I had let them simply expire, I could have collected about $2,500 of profit. But in terms of creating income, right, and in terms of, you know, high probability options trading, just like these credit spreads, with a five to $6,000 account, you can be cranking out fifteen to $2,000 a week. You know, put that in its proper perspective. Over the course of a year, that's a pretty damn good income with what really in all reality in this game is a very small account so what i like about this guys and why i really suggest you learn more about options selling and credit spreads and just you know the high probability ways of taking advantage of options is that once you learn them you know they can become the core foundation of your trading you can take your day trade opportunities when it's picture perfect you know you can take that aggressive swing where you're buying calls when it's picture perfect but when you try to live and die and create consistent income, you know, for someone like me who pays the bills through trading, and you're doing it with those strategies that can be so hit or miss, you know, that brings a lot of emotions into the game. So for me personally, this is the core strategy right now, and I'm just slowly getting a bit bigger every single week. I'm not in a rush here to scale quickly, because I know that five weeks from now, 10 weeks from now, 20 weeks, 50 weeks, right, a few years from now, because of the high probability nature of this and because just you know all those freaking emotions at least for me are removed when trading like this this is something i can get bigger and bigger and bigger in you know until i don't need to get bigger anymore but just to show you guys an example here five to six thousand dollars of equity these are high probability trades where when you learn the way that options work and you understand you know how to exploit them when it comes to credit spreads and just selling options in general you can get some pretty consistent good returns. So for you new traders out there, if you have the dream of trading full time, I'll tell you that it's awesome, right? I get to wake up here every day. I create my own schedule, do what I want, when I want, where I want, and I get to focus on what I love most, which is the market. But it can be a very stressful life when you're trading these aggressive strategies, trading options, you know, directionally. All those ups and downs that take place in the chart, all those ups and downs that take place in your P&L and just the pricing of options in general, that kind of tends to carry over to your personal life where the emotions are up and down as well. So these higher probability strategies for me are something I found a lot of peace of mind in and I'm looking forward to sharing these with you guys over the next few months as I continue to get bigger and just hopefully it's a source of motivation along the way. So I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. If you're not in the Focus Trades family, you can check that out in the description. Come rock with us for a little bit. Enjoy your weekend, guys, and I will see you in the next one.
And like I mentioned, guys, I show you here, you know, all the fills from all these SPX spreads. So if you feel inclined to try to verify, you know, my little spreadsheet here, then you can just pause this and, you know, spend a few minutes doing that math. But there it is.